All right, so we're back, and this is how to actually code each each uh, dialog box, each type. But to start out with, um, I'm just going to create a. I'm just going to put them all in the all in one class, so we can just show them all in one go. So here goes nothing. So we're just going to call this um, dialog boxes, and then um, we're just going to create a new package. Um, main package. And if you're wondering in the, why the last video I didn't explain um, message dialog, it's because it does a very simple task, which is just displaying data. So um, I figured it wasn't too important to go over because I'll be going over it in my next chapter, which is um, different versions of output. So basically, once we do all this, public side void main, finish, um, this is where we start a program from. And we're going to start with the hardest one first. So we're going to do j option. Um, so th the first thing we need to do is we need to create our options. And our options are all going to be strings. Um, so string my options. It's going to equal. And this is um, syntax for an array. And you can skip ahead to the array chapter. Um, it looks like I have it slated to be chapter seven. So, um, but basically, an array is just a, a list of values. So the first value on the list is going to be um, what's a what's a classic game? It's a um, it's kill marry. And um, uh, we'll we'll call it date to keep this PG. So, kill Mary date is the the, the three options. And oh yeah, to make sure that we created a um, an array, you just add these two brackets to make it a um, an array of strings. So the next thing we do is j option pane dot show, and we're, this one we're doing um, option dialog. That's not going to help me at all. Um, dot. Then we're going to show option dialog, and it gives us all these these list of ver. Um, all these parameters. Basically, you just have to look at these and kind of memorize what they do. So the first one's null uh, because we don't have a parent for the pop-up box to show up in. Next one is the message. So um, would you like to blank uh, Fred? And from here, that's the so the blank. There should be a bunch of underscores there. Uh, there they'll put kill Mary date and title. Um, and title will just put uh, Mary question. And in the options type. This is going to be a J option pane. And the value that's supposed to go in here is an integer. But since I don't remember the integer for each of these, you can just do J option pane dot. Um, and you can do like yes, no, cancel option, or something like that, or yes, no option. And basically, it's a it's an integer that corresponds to yes, no option. So it's just an easy way to um, to do that. And then the message type, this is going to be the same thing as I just explained. Um, give me an error. Um, J option pane dot. And then this is going to be an error message. Uh, actually, we can make it something else than an error message. Let's make it a question. Is there, yeah, question message. And the icon, well, we're not going to have one. So when you don't have something, sometimes you just set it as null. Pray for the best. 
This is going to be my options. So this is the options I get to choose from. And then this is the initial value. And we're just going to leave that to, um, we want that to be kill. So to access that first kill one, you just do my options. And then you put zero. And basically what the zero does is it, it says do the first list in the item. And we just count from zero, one, two. And that's a little bit about arrays. Uh, and again, you can learn more about that in the arrays um, video. So now that we've done that, we can run it. And it asks us, would you like to blank Fred kill, marry, date? So I'll kill. Um, and then that's great, but how do we get the output from this? We just do string answer equals j option pane um, show me the dialog and we're going to take this entire thing and just pull this guy oh this is actually an integer um, so instead of doing that we're just going to do int answer and basically how we how we get the data from that is um, we can do SYSO control space and then we can just put answer so now if I click the first one it returns a zero if I run it again click the second one turns a one run it again click the final one returns two so that's one way to do it. Now another way to do it is um, that's just the first kill marry date scenario. And we'll keep those options there in case we need them uh, later on, which I know we will. So the next one is just the easier version of that, which is the um, J option pane dot confirm or dot show confirm dialog. And there's a bunch of different overrides that uh, remember how we had a string title, int option type, um, int message type? I kind of already went over those, and these just give you uh, ways to use all those. But we're just going to keep it simple, because I just kind of went over how to use each of these, and they're all the same. So null, and then in here, this is going to be our message. And, um, and we're just going to say, would you like to stop playing the game. So when we save and run, it just says, would you like to stop playing the game? And it has these already generated, yes, no, cancel. And to get data from it, you do the same thing as before, int um, answer equals, and then YSO, control space, answer, and works the same as before. Yes, zero, no, one, cancel, two. All very predictable, just as programmers like it. So the next part is less predictable, unfortunately. So the next one is a, it's a J option pane, so that's predictable. And it's a dot show, predictable, just how we like it. And then we just change that with input. The only problem is now, like, um, well, that isn't that is an override, one of the many overrides. And basically, it says, "Would you like to stop playing the game?" No. Nope. So how do we get data from this? Well, we just have to do string answer equals, and this is kind of unpredictable. The string. Because, but it, it's unpredictable in the fact that it doesn't follow the last two, but it is predictable in the fact that if it's a text box, you want to get whatever text is in there. So you want, it's going to be, the text is probably going to be a string. So next thing you do is um, SYSO, space, answer, run it. Would you like to stop playing the game? 
I don't know. Maybe. And it says, I don't know. Perfect. Now is where it gets a little confusing. J option pane has a lot of overrides for J option pane dot show input dialog. And we want this really long one. So parent component null message um, would you like to and then blank Fred and title is um, weird question and then um, there we go and then the message type will be j option pain dot error message, or question message, would be better, question message, and it's all caps, Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N, -E perfect, okay, and icon, if you don't know what it is, set it to null, basically, is the way to do this, and selection values, well, that's going to be my options, and initial selection value is going to be my options, and we're just going to select the first one, or the, the second one, if we put a one in there. So that will be automatically selecting Mary. So then when we run this, it says, would you like to blank Fred? And Mary killed date, perfect. So um, we'll marry him. And now that we've married Fred, it was never recorded. So now we have to record it. So now what we want to do is string um, string um, answer and this this J option pane generic um, gives you back a, a generic object, which is really useful if you're s selecting between different objects. Like, um, for instance, if you had objects representing a bicycle, uh, a bis bicycle, baseball, or um, like soccer ball, and you asked, you're asking a kid what they want to play with, you could, in theory, make a uh, array of objects and put each object uh, in a value, and it would return the entire object instead of having to. Um, return the name of the object and dealing with it that way. So that's actually a really handy feature, um, but we just want to output the string, so we'll just do to string, which is a classic way to get a string out of something. And then we do SYSO, control space, and we are going to, inside of here, put um, answer, and we save, run, um, would you like to kill Mary Date? And we're going to marry him again. And it says Mary. Perfect. Um, and then you could check like if answer equals Mary or something like that. Uh, but this is the the basics on how to get input from um, pop-up boxes. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and I'll see you guys.